A group of librarians and cartoonists are hoping to broaden the perception of comics. The Canada Comics Open Library opened its doors earlier this year in Toronto and has over 700 books. It looks at comics as a medium rather than a genre, and its diverse and inclusive collection shows that. The sales clerk shows us a style she calls cute. I'd like to ask her what sport Monaco Team 51 could possibly participate in, just to see the expression on her face. But no sound comes out. My mom shoots me a sidelong glance as though to say, what a ditz. Jane the Fox and Me is a coming of age graphic novel that touches on body image and loneliness. It covers sensitive topics. She pushes me almost apologetically into a fitting room. In the Monaco suit, I'm a ballerina sausage. In the black suit, I'm an undertaker sausage. I'm a sausage. The book is one of over 700 in the Canada Comics Open Library collection. One of the big misconceptions is that they are an all-encompassing genre, but they're really, we believe they're really just a medium for telling all different kinds of stories. Rotem Diamant is the president and librarian of the collection. With the help of dedicated librarians, cartoonists, and comic enthusiasts, they were able to open this space earlier this year. And while the collection is still growing, they cover quite the gamut of genres. We have autobiographies, we have biographies, we have historical fiction, we have everyday fiction, speculative fiction, so science fiction, fantasy, we have anthologies. Rotem hopes that through the library they can make comics more accessible while promoting authors and cartoonists who are black, indigenous, or identify with the LGBTQ community or other marginalized groups. The more narratives there are out there, the better comics become, um, the more diverse they are, the better they are. Comics were foundational to Rotem's pursuit of her master's in library and information sciences after she moved from Winnipeg to Toronto. Comics have meant a lot to me over the years. They've helped me through some really difficult times um, in terms of relationships, living in terrible rooming houses, um, mental health stuff. Um, they've just meant a lot to me. Jordan Alec is a self-published cartoonist and resident cartoonist at the Canada Comics Open Library. The uh, story of a character I have called Fret. Um, he's just sort of this character who worries a lot for no seemingly apparent reason. The breadth of work is unlimited. Like Something else that appealed to me about comics is the idea that one person can make a full story. I love movies and all other forms of media as well, but they take a lot of people to, to create. Like It's not something that one person could tackle on their own. And that was like a big appeal to me. Jordan runs instructional workshops for cartoonists who are looking to pick up new skills or simply chat about the art form. The library hopes the new space, located in Toronto's Regent Park, will become a place where comic readers and creators can come for events and panels. The library's physical space is a recent venture. For over a year, the group had been crowdfunding to raise money for a brick and mortar space. Located on the third floor of the Centre for Social Innovation on Dundas Street East, the library is putting a big focus on fostering community and accessibility. The toughest thing is getting people to walk up to the shelves and see what's there. And once they do, just seeing how much representation there is by cartoonists of color and queer creators, um, I think it has surprised a lot of people. So a lot of people have preconceptions or misconceptions about what comics are, and we want to show them that they're on the shelves too. Their representations, their identities exist there as well, and also topics they may be interested in are there as well. Readers can find books that delve into queer content and both mental and physical health. Before they had a physical space, the Canada Comics Open Library was a virtual collection. We have our whole collection online, and I think now something like 3,400 unique keywords. So we have a way of showing keywords to public users so they can find new things, they can find themselves on the shelf basically, but they can do that digitally. The library operates seven days a week and is open to anyone. Memberships are free or pay what you can. At the moment, it's a non-circulating library, meaning readers can't take the books home, but they can enjoy them while they're there. Seeing kids and other people get access to that as adults who never read comics or kids who really want to read comics but don't have too much access to them, that's awesome. That alone is achieving a goal to me. The group has big plans for the future of comics in Canada.
Our name is the Canada Comics Open Library and we chose that name with the ultimate goal that eventually there could be a non-profit library across cities in Canada, including rural areas where they might have a lot less access to comics than a city like Toronto, which is a big comic city. <laughs> The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. Helping businesses stay on the right side of change with strategic thinking, insightful decisions, and business leadership. Are you on the right side of change? Ask an Ontario CPA.